Okay, this video is to help people who are having trouble adding their friends as admins in the game. Make sure that you download a, and install T-Shock. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I made a tutorial video that will help you with that. Okay, the first, first thing you want to do is make sure you log in. Okay, so now you have privileges that you can add or delete users, but we're going to add a user. So type slash user add. <clears throat> um, let's say the guy on the server is named um, Tommy56 or something like that. Um, you can make his username Tommy56 if you really want to, or you can make it easier on yourself and him and just make his username Tom. Uh, make sure you do colon. Let's pick him a password. I usually pick temp as the password when I'm adding users so they can change it later. And we want to add him to a group, and the group is going to be admin. That's the group so that he can be an admin too. Okay, so if everybody has that, make sure you do slash user add tom colon temp in the user group, which is admin. Okay, so Tom has been added to admin. Now let's disconnect. <clears throat> let's say... Let's say Tom is connecting... Okay. Let's just pretend that I'm Tom for a second. Okay. The server doesn't know that I'm Tom until I log in. So Tom comes along and he wants to log in. Okay. So slash login. Lowercase Tom because that's the way I made it. Space and his password is temp. So do it just like that. And hit enter. Okay, now Tom is logged in. Now Tom can change his password. So do forward slash password. Put in his old password, which is temp. And then space his new password, which is going to be... Let's just say it's Corvette, because Tom, for some reason, really likes Corvettes. Okay, so now his password is changed. So now whenever Tom logs in he's going to use his new password and he, he's always going to have the privilege of admin now even if Tom comes in as his other character which might be Bob it doesn't matter he can still use Tom as his login because all the login is is a username and password that you log into to give you privileges in fact if somebody knew my login information they could they could log in as Omega if I wasn't here and then they would have super admin privileges which they shouldn't do because I haven't given that privilege to anybody um, anyway that's how you add admins to your server make sure you have T-Shock before you do this and I would strongly suggest that they change their password after you give them a temporary one anyway if you guys have any questions just let me know